Hey, how you doing everybody? It's Glowing Double O Cabbage Jeff back here for another video. And this time I'm going to be answering uh, my good friend Mark. How you doing Mark? Mark, Dr. Dead Wax's uh, contest, Christmas Babies. Um, one record for three people, three of the great people in the Mayo community. People who have, I've been watching their videos for years. Just wonderful people. Um, and those people are Mark, Dr. Dead, they all share the same birthday. Mark, Dr. Dead Wax, Rob Paniques, and David Sequoia Flying. Great people. Rob, I think you might be a little bit mad at me, but I'm sorry I, did, I haven't responded back to your comments and your, <laughs> and your, uh, the comments that you've given on my videos. I'm so sorry. I, I used to be able to uh, have the time to answer everybody's uh, comment for every video that I did. I used to do it for the longest time, but it's just, Time just seems to be going by so quickly now, especially with Huxley. And, uh, I mean, I've been meaning to do these videos. I'm doing two videos tonight, but I've been meaning to do these for, like, weeks. There's packages I need to send out. I'm way behind in everything, man. But anyways, don't take it personally, my friend. Uh, it's just, I'll get, I'll, I will eventually get to them. I just haven't yet, but, um, check out this ugly beer I'm drinking. Camouflage. They're just picking up on that bullshit, oh, I hate those swamp shows or whatever those. Well, I shouldn't say hate, I just don't watch them. But <clears throat> What's that one, uh, Duck Dynasty? That's why these are, that's why they're trying to cash in on that, I'm sure. Hmm. Anyway, all right, three records, three great people. We're going to start with David Sequoia Flame first, and we're listening to that, the album in the background, actually. Um, oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't have chose this one to play in the background because I want to show it. I want to show the actual vinyl. But uh, anyways, it's colored vinyl. Plankton Watt. I know you probably know about these guys, David. Um, they're just amazing psych sort of uh, uh, psychedelic. Just uh, I can't even quite explain them. Like stoner, stoner rock, a little bit of everything. Not quite as in your face as like you know, um, Acid Mother's Temple can be, as you know. I mean, I find them that way anyways, like, I just find almost like the seer by the swans, I, I just, I can't, it's just hard on my head, um, and Acid Mother's Temples can be like that, uh, also, but Plankton Watt is pretty, pretty laid back stuff, I'll turn it up just for a bit, some of it's really, really ambient and ethereal, and some of it's really, uh, really psychedelic and weird, um, uh, but I love it all, it's really great music, wonderful artwork, there is an insert. Plankton Watt. The name of the album is uh, Dawn of the Golden Eternity. Um, great, great album. There's Charlie Shark. Here. You gotta do the obligatory. Charlie! Obey! Obey, Charlie! So, yes, uh, David, if you. Sequoia Flame, David Horowitz. The guy with the laugh, if uh, you don't have this album, check it out, it's fantastic. I don't even know where these guys are from, I do believe they're US based, but, um, anyway, Plankton Watt. Okay, um, Rob Paniques, you're next, buddy. Um, I wasn't, I went through his stacks and I was thinking, what would he, I know he likes Led Zeppelin, I know he likes heavier stuff, I know he's been to like thousands of concerts. Um, but I came back to this album, and I'm not sure if you have it, but I think you would like it if you if you if you heard it because the the lyrics are are really interesting and it's very catchy pop, like pop popish indie pop kind of thing. Uh, they're a Scottish band, and uh, it's um, it's Bell and Sebastian. If you're feeling sinister, one of my favorite albums of all time. I love this album so much. It just puts me in a mood every time I listen to it. For sure, a great mood too. Not a bad one. <laughs> Bell and Sebastian's If You're Feeling Sinister. This is on Jeep, uh, sorry, yeah, Jeepster originally, but this was a Matador Records reissue. Um, really great, great album. Uh, you can check them out probably on YouTube. Bell and Sebastian, If You're Feeling Sinister. Rob, I really think you'd like this. Um, it's it's a great album. Uh, it's, it's very... Uh, Highly lauded 
album for sure. A lot of people really have a lot of praise for this. So, Bell and Sebastian, for you, Rob. And now, Dr. Deadwax Mark. I wasn't sure what to choose for you. Uh, I just sort of, I know you like uh, your ECM jazz and stuff like that, but I know you have like an eclectic taste when it comes to music, and I know you're not huge on punk or Iggy Pop, or we've had that discussion um, for Bad Brains, or is that what we were talking about? Anyway, I know uh, kind of what you like. And I know you like good rock and roll. I know you like, you know, so, sort of sometimes you like older stuff. I took a chance on this. I just picked this up actually today, like today. And I was like, oh, I bet you, I bet you Mark would really like this. I only paid five bucks for this. And the, the crowning glory of this, of this album is the cover. Like, look at this artwork. Okay, I'm going to bring it up real, real sh slow. I'm going to like kind of present it. Here we go. Oh, the music is just cutting into. Wildsville. Is that what it says? Yeah, Wildsville. Check out that dame. I'm evil. I bought it on the cover alone, I'll be honest. But it's a nice single album gatefold of all these fantastic older sort of, like, I, I say late 50s, early 60s tunes. It's on an album label that I've never heard of before called, uh, what is it called? Monsieur Records. There's the label there. And I'll show you the actual record. But I think you'd like this, man. I played a couple of songs off this on the radio show tonight. And you know, the only thing is, is they mislabeled it because the songs that are on the back, either they mislabeled this or A and B on the album because they don't match up. So you get the idea. But tonight I played, um, what tune was it? Money Money by Big John Taylor. And the other one I played was the Triads Bacon Fat. So, I know you love bacon too. I mean, who doesn't like bacon? So anyways, those are my three picks for you guys. Um, great contest ideas, Mark. You keep coming up with them. I don't know what you're gonna come up with next. But I, I think I got this one in right under the wire. Excuse me, beer, oh my God. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Keep the record spinning.